Hi guys, this is your girl Justina Elise, and today we are going to do um, some passion twists, crochet passion twists. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Alright, if you made it this far in the video, make sure you subscribe. Click the red button and the bell next to it so you can be notified of my next video. Comment down below and let me know what protective style are y'all trying out. So this is a hair that I got off of Amazon. The link will be down below. It is a crochet hair and I really could have just like braided my hair down and added it, crocheted it in. But I wanted to separate um, each individual curl. So these are some of the products that I use to create this style. Uh, some cream of nature edge control, some shine and jam, the small move my natural hair, some clips, rack tail combs, some as I am Jamaican black castor oil water. So this is how my hair looks. I've already did half of it. This is how the twists look before I'm well the side that I already did. I just did it, went ahead and did to make sure that I knew what I was doing. I pre-sectioned my hair and then I also um, did each individual one one at a time. As y'all see, this side is totally pre-sectioned and I did blow out my hair before. So this is just for me to make sure I had enough twists to create this style. So as y'all can see, my hair is not sectioned like straight straight but i wanted to look more natural so i'm going to go ahead on my first section in the back and add the edge control to my roots this is a way that i can smooth my roots since my hair is not completely blown out but um i wanted my root to be uh kind of smooth so this is a twist this is how it comes in the pack um i am gonna unwrap untwist it first and then i'm gonna like uh, separate the actual curls. So I wrap it around my finger and twist, twist, twist to like open up the curl as y'all can see. Then I'm going to go in and use my finger and actually physically separate the curl, kind of spread it out. Um, yeah. And just make it like more full so when I, cause I'm going to add two pieces as y'all are going to see in a minute, but this is just to make it more full and less like of a skinny curl, even though like pretty much when I added the hair together, it kind of was like about the same size. It wasn't that much fullness. Like I probably could have added three, um, three, uh, twists and it might've been a little bit more fuller. Um, even having a thicker twist would have been great for my hair. So, because my hair is kind of thick. Because as y'all are going to see, as I do my twist, some of my natural hair does stick out. But I'm going to take these two pieces and um, put them together and use that to create my twist. So, I go in, I separate my hair down the middle. And then I'm going to do the gripping method as far as it comes to um, Senegalese twist or passion twist. So I'm gonna take my root of my hair and grab it with the um, hair that, uh, you know, the braiding hair, and I'm gonna twist it towards my, my left, your right. And so I'm doing this in order for my hair and the crochet hair to come together and create this twist so it can be easier to twist my hair. Hopefully I'm making sense. So I do the same thing to the other side. I twist it in the same direction I twisted the first side. So going to the left and throughout my hair, I pretty much do twist, twist my hair to the left. Um, it just um, allows the already crocheted hair it's kind of like in that direction because if I didn't actually like tr twist it in the direction that the crochet hair was, my hair will literally fall apart. So as y'all can see, I go ahead, since I've twisted both sides, I'll go ahead and twist 
my hair all the way down like I was doing individual twists on my natural hair. I grip the hair, I make sure the hair is tight, and I rotate my the hair as I go down. If you want to, you can add a clip to your root just so it won't be super tight, but I didn't because it wasn't that tight. I go ahead and add some shining jam to my natural hair to smooth it um, and so it can combine better into the crochet hair. And I continue doing this all the way down until I get to the end of my hair. Once I get to the end of my hair, I do kind of try to coil it with the Shine and Jam gel just to make a coil at the end. Um, this doesn't necessarily lock the crochet hair in place, but um, this was my attempt of doing it. This is how my hair is looking, and I'll explain that part later, but I'm going to do my hair one more time. Well, like two more times. I'm going to show y'all how I did my hair. As y'all can see, um, my hair is blown out. And I'm just detangling it now with my ragtail comb. Um, I don't want to add too much like water. I think I sprayed it with some Jamaica Black Castor Oil a little bit. Just to make it easier to detangle my hair. I go ahead and go in with the cream of nature. Again, this is a way that I can smooth my natural roots. Um, cause my hair is not blown out all the way, as I say. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and separate the curl of the hair. Um, now if you just wanted to, you know, crochet the hair, you can do this. That's totally fine. This was just my option that I wanted to do. I wanted to do something different. Um, cause I didn't really see nobody do this online. Maybe I didn't search it how I needed to. But I really wanted to see how this will come out. Now, this hairstyle did last maybe like two weeks. Because um, my natural hair kind of got like really frizzy at the roots. Um, but I did really enjoy this style. Alright, so I'm going to explain this one more time. So, as y'all can see, I am rotating my right hand towards my left. So, the hair can go in the same direction. As the crochet hair so I, I, I rotated down maybe an inch to an inch and a half no maybe an inch to half an inch and so I do that to the other side as well and then once I've rotated both sides and both sides are you know kind of in like this um, kind of like coiled look I go ahead grab both sides and grip really tight and go ahead and continue down twisting my hair all the way down to the end so I twist 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 all the way down to the end making sure my natural hair um is kind of uh semi like uh you know gathered into my hair by adding the shine jam uh, well, the crochet hair kind of making it like more seamless. Granted, um, even when you look at my hair at the end, um, my natural hair is sticking out. So as I said before, I should have, you know, added extra crochet hair, but I didn't have enough. So I just worked with what I had. So I did go ahead and twist my hair all the way down, as I said before. And then I am going to like cool my hair at the end one thing i do want to point out i don't know if y'all can see it but you can actually this is one reason why i was like i could have added like another twist to this because you can actually see where my natural hair ends granted probably if i had blown out my hair a little better um 
or something like that. It might not look like that if I had added more crochet hair. Um, if the crochet hair was thicker, my hair wouldn't look like that. And, you know, but it's all good. It's a learning experience. And we're just going to take it and learn for our for the next time. So, as I said, I do go all the way to the end. I do get some shine and jam to add to the end. And then I go ahead and twist. This is like a way to seal it, even though my hair didn't end up sealing like throughout my whole style i had to keep going back because my hair the crochet hair would literally unravel every time so anyway we are to the last twist and i'm just gonna let y'all watch as i do this and i'll be back All right, guys, so we are twisting the end of my last hair, adding some of that shine jam, and then coiling the end. And this is how this side of my hair looks. It looks so good. Like, I really wish I had added another crochet hair. But I do go through and cut the ends of my hair, well, the crochet hair, so it won't look so straggly. I do this to both sides. And essentially, this is how my hair looks. I love it. One thing that I should have fixed is my part down the middle is totally off-centered. I try to make a center, but it's off-centered. But that's not the point. I do love, love how my hair came out. Um, my hair just looks so good and so neat. Um, granted, there was little things like... My natural hair sticking out, the twist not um, staying twist, or things like that that I learned from this experience of doing this hairstyle. But you live and you learn, as I said, and next time I will know what to do. So if you made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Click the red button and the bell next to it so you can be notified of my next video. And remember, guys, you look blessed. Bye.